interesting uh, situation when the Dodgers were in town here, and we didn't find out about it until today. Yeah. Kelly Jansen, the Dodgers closer, speaking was, about two. was not able to play in Wednesday's game when they really could have used him in the ninth inning for the Dodgers because he was suffering from altitude sickness. He was feeling dehydrated, dizzy, had a queasy feeling in his stomach. They actually hooked him up to IV during the game, and he wasn't able to play in the game. Um, this is not unusual for you and I to hear this. I mean, we, we've been hearing this forever. Maybe not quite as drastic as this, but the altitude has affected a lot of visiting athletes through the years. I had an effect on that game because they had to put yeah. two rookie pitchers in the ninth <clears throat> inning and the Rockies made a comeback. But you're right. I thought about Clark, the safety from Pittsburgh Ryan, Steelers, Ryan that couldn't play here in two different playoff game or maybe one was a regular season game yeah. to open the season when Peyton came here and later in the playoff game when they played or not later uh, when Tebow was quarterback right. when they lost the game <clears throat> that may have made a big difference in that game if Clark had been in that game yeah. but he couldn't play here because of uh, the concerns about him and sickle cell anemia. Correct. So and here we had a situation and, yeah. and I was wondering the other day when Mattingly wouldn't yeah. dis discuss the issue he said, I'm "Just kind of not going to play." That they were, I don't, I, I wouldn't say they're trying to cover it up, but they were trying to protect his health, and it was not something that right. they were concerned about doing. Well, you, you and I have also experienced Akeem Olajuwon, NBA Hall of Famer, used to come in here all the time, and when he would sit down on the bench, he would immediately go to the oxygen mask. It really got into Akeem's head, and he didn't play as well here as he did in other cities. Now, whether or not he was actually affected by it or he just thought he was affected by it, I don't know. And then what would happen whenever the Lakers came in here? They would roll in two oxygen tanks and keep him at the end of the bench. But I also told you that, uh, I think I've told you before, that uh, the old coach of the Cleveland Cavaliers, it's Cavaliers, oh, he was around forever. Yeah. Bill Fitch? Bill Fitch. I went up, because I used to do this in the 70s before you'd moved here, and I'd say to teams, what do you think about the altitude? And Fitch said, no problems, no problems at all. I said, really? He said, yeah, we brought a bunch of paper bags of Cleveland air with us. <laughs> that was a great. <laughs> well, there were some coaches that told their players, the altitude doesn't affect you indoors. Some players actually bought it. Don Coriel thought he had it figured out when he was the St. Louis uh, Cardinals coach back in the 1977 opening game and he brought in the Saint, he brought in the St. Louis Cardinals to play the Broncos took them to the Air Force Academy on Monday to prepare by Sunday they were worn out they got shut out so it didn't help them teams have Dan Reeves used to tell me that he had investigated the difference between playing at altitude and playing at sea level